All right, let me show you where we're at. So we got Las Vegas here. And if we zoom up into the northwest area, we're in a new development called Kyle Point. They have Alpine Ridge, Arrow Peak. They also have KB Homes, Talus right next door. We're just north of Sky Canyon off of the I-95, and we got great access to the I-215 as well. This is the northwest. Let's go take a look. And welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the vlog. I'm David Carroll, your Las Vegas realtor with Signature Real Estate Group. And we're back here again at Arrow Peak Alpine Ridge by TriPoint Homes. Have a look around. So they started this community. We're out here in Kyle Point, right off of the 95, just north of Sky Canyon. Now they started this community with three of their ultra modern single stories. I like to say this is Alpine Ridge. Got the plan two, plan three, and the plan one. Now if we just slide right over, we've got Arrow Peak. These are a little bit smaller single stories. They also have plan one, plan two, and plan three. Got square footage starting at 2,017 square feet, heading up to 2,337 square feet. Got options for three to four bedrooms, two to three bath with a two bay garage. Now pricing at Arrow Peak is starting in that low to mid 500s. And today we're gonna to be featuring the plan two model. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath with a two bay garage. 2,179 square feet. Elevation A today starts at 547,000. Even. Let's take a closer look. Paper stones included in the drive. These all have the uh, eight foot garage doors with the LED pucks underneath here. Very modern. Here on the side we have our electrical panel, all our communications line, gas line. Looks like our backflow preventer as well and hose bib. I do want to take a quick peek over this run. Looks like we have the tankless hot water heater and a pool set up back there. Now for exteriors they have a few different elevations. They have the desert contemporary, they have the new modern, and they have the modern Spanish. Now this one is the contemporary one beautiful flat lines got those mid-century style eaves I just want to take a quick peek hang with me let's see what's on this side all right so we do have the pool gate set up with the screen and the spring we are looking at all spray on stucco with this light blue color what an entry with the color blocking on top orange door upgraded eight foot let's take a closer look now welcome to the plan two here at Arrow Peak. Here's your entryway. Pull it all the way into the kitchen. Flipping it around from your front door. Look at that long hallway, so much length on this home. A lot of the customizations you see on the wall will be more of a custom touch. We are looking at a five inch modern baseboard, upgraded 12 by 24 tiles. I haven't even seen these before being used on the flooring here. Kind of looks almost like a, a quartz top in the kitchen. Now the entry, we also have some secondary bedrooms, bedroom number two and bedroom number three. Now as we come in, some of the structural options you can do, you can do the extended island, 55 inch electric fireplace at the great room. You can do the primary bath spa and shower, the great room center means slides, stuccoed covered patio. You can upgrade your bathrooms. Laundry base, upper cabinets, lower cabinets, dining base cabinets. Now here in the great room is 19.3 by 15.8. It's got vaulted ceilings, six LEDs, and a pre-wire. But I really wanna show you what this whole kitchen is all about. Look at this. Now they did add the fireplace on this one, but look at this view. These tripoint homes are just so modern. The flexibility, the open concept. They did add the dual meat center slide, beautiful. And here is your fireplace. Looks like they're prepping it up to put finish the uh, tile work on it. Taking a step back, you can just really appreciate the large modern windows here. Those don't open, but you usually have one window opening in at least uh, each room for ventilation. 
here's your kitchen. 42 inch upper cabinets, flat modern crown, full overlay. We're looking at these slab style doors, very European look. And look at this dining, how inviting is that? 20 feet by 11 one. It's got that vaulted ceiling coming down. With the tri-point, you're, you're always gonna see these type of angles. Extended cabinetry, modern window behind. This kitchen feels huge. All right, so we have our standard screwed on side glides. No soft clothes. And this is traditionally the modern pool, but to put a regular pool on these slab doors looks pretty custom. Quartz top, they pull the full slab up to the wall. So luxury, so rich. Looks like a level three upgraded on the quartz. GE cooktop, five burner. This is more of that gourmet style setup with your built-in cooktop. And look at this vent, she's built for cooking. Let's fire it up. Is she venting out way up there? Pretty sweet kitchen, I would say. Now, what about this island? It is oversized. Has the apron edge, stainless steel, off-center divide. Delta hardware, air gap, and disposal switch on top. Now these are also options here, the pendant lights, and when you do these, you'll want to option the pre-wire first and then choose the pendant. Built-in oven, built-in microwave. But I'm thinking, where are the cookies? Here is the cookie storage. What do we got down here? Root beer, cream soda. I like it. We are looking at this uh, Skip Tross texture, one of their more expensive textures, but beautiful. Three inch on the casing around the door. A lot of times when you upgrade to the larger base, your casing will get a little smaller. Just depends on the builder and the size. And here's from the cookie storage. Look at that view, so beautiful. Let's see if we can take a quick peek out back. All right, it looks like they got the door to the back locked, but I wanted to say these homes are kind of built for that either you have a front outdoor living or sometimes you'll have like this rear courtyard or rear outdoor living setup. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. It is beautiful, all concrete out there with the pool. Look at the beautiful decor on the wall here, kind of a built in around it. And then they also painted the bricks. Can't really tell too much, but they are like a gray. I think that's the best way to go for low cost. Now, HOA here at Arrow Peak is $74 a month. There's no SIDS, no lids. If you want to build from dirt, we're probably looking at summertime uh, 2024 for completion on some dirt that is available. They do have some specs coming up October, November. EMD to go to contract is $15,000. They do have some lender incentives. Lot premiums I'm seeing around anywhere from zero to about $25,000 currently. Let me tell you briefly, they have a few quick specs coming up. They have the plan three coming in at 606, 745, and this is with all upgrades and lot premium. They have a plan one coming in at 585. They have a plan three C coming in at 625, and then a plan two B coming in at 602. So you can kind of get an idea of their price range with options and lot premium. Now look at this. This is the primary suite, 13.4 by 14.6. Well lit up, four windows coming in. Pool views. We are surrounded by mountains out here as well. You got Lee Canyon, Kyle Canyon, Mount Charleston, all within this area. Four LEDs on the ceiling with a pre-wire, very nice. And you got some two pendant lights on each side of the bed. These homes are luxury for sure. Although you don't have to option them up. You know, I would build from dirt and go really tight on the budget, keep it real frugal. They did pull flooring into the rooms everywhere throughout on this one. I like that. And here's your bath. LED framed in mirrors. 
You have the tub and shower combo on this one, beautifully tiled up. Porcelain tub. Got all chrome on the trim, chrome on the hardware, but it is upgraded, very modern. Large 12 by 24 tiles to the ceiling. And your tub. Now the tops, look, we are looking at more of the same material from the kitchen that looks like the level three quartz. You have the undermount sinks. Full spread on the hardware with the backsplash, pretty sweet. I just love this texture. Such a cool look. And here's your closet, French door access. So that's the primary bathroom, the primary suite, the water closet. And we're just gonna slide right over. What do we got behind door number one? Is this the cookie storage number two? I, I love storage. That's one of the beautiful things about new homes. What a great feel. You got the vaulted ceilings on both sides, so it kind of comes up and over. LEDs, four days. Look at this hall. Now, what do we got to the right? We got access to the garage. And I'm already drawn in by the hexagon tiles. I love these for like a bathroom setup as well. Washer dryer optional. So is your sink here. Top is included. I love these little sinks. So this is the top mount variety. They also have an undermount variety as well that'll kind of hang and you'll lose this whole lip. The undermount is probably the way to go in 2023. Two LEDs in this laundry. And you have your bath here. Still working on the tile surrounds. You got the LED mirror beautifully upgraded. What do you guys think? Behind door number two, our coat closet. Here's a look at the hardware package. Got all chrome levers on that. Flat corner edges. Now right into the front, we have bedroom number three. It's 11, 11 by 12 square feet. Upgraded carpeting. First thing I notice is this window is extra large. It hangs really low as well. Got the modern fan mounted above. Pretty good sized room. Has this little niche area here in the front. Slide in closets, beautiful single panel doors. These are six foot eight inches in height on your doors. I believe they have options to do the eight foot as well. Eight foot interior doors are, are pretty sweet. So yeah, that this is Alpine Ridge right across the street here. We're in Kyle Point, just north, one exit of Sky Canyon. In the future, this will kind of blend straight with Sky Canyon. You got some great access, too, to hit the uh, Smith Shopping Center as well. And right across, we have bedroom twos, 12, 9 by 11, 11, just a little larger than the last. Gorgeous lighting, blue ceiling. Definitely a themed room. I saw some comments the other day about how the accent wall is one thing, but turning it into a theme is a whole nother beautiful design. I can respect the uh, designers. And the walk-in closet. Now this room, they didn't add any extra LEDs on the ceiling, but they got this grand lighting here. I don't think you really need it. Now right next door, we have door number three for storage. So much storage. 
and our secondary bath for our secondary bedrooms. You can turn this into the uh, walk-in without the tub, which is a beautiful upgrade. Window in the bath, quartz tops, undermount sinks. So this is the Plan 2 Aero Peak. Well, what do you guys think? That's the Plan 2. We're here at Aero Peak by TriPoint Homes. If you'd like any more information, give me a call anytime. And if you like the video, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.